Lillian Alex from Tanzania, a working based African civil society. Again, she's for with me. I have colleagues and young youths coming from the region of East Africa. We have been hearing a lot about the youth going into um, to not be included, to included in the political spaces in the countries, specifically in East African countries. What do you think and what's the practice um, now that we're seeing that youth claim that the space is shrinking? they're not being provided with more space to actually air out their, their views and not being given the space to actually fire as a, or campaign. What do you think about the dynamics that you're facing, um, particularly in your countries? I start with Kenya. We are in a situation as a group where we're talking about a future for the youth and by the youth. So it is only right that the youth are given the space to actually determine and plan for their future so that you can actually achieve democracy. Okay, thank you. Listening to the experience in Tanzania. In Tanzania, we have some uh, youth who are representing uh, in the leadership, like the Pore Pore, Ari Papi, and the other uh, leaders like Makamba, who are, very, uh, who are doing very good in political activities and also are representing uh, youth in a good position. Thank you. Well, Uganda is, uh, I think, one of the East African, East African countries that we would uh, really pick and learn something from because we have got um, youth representations quite on a very high uh, rating. Yeah. We have got the National Youth Council structures, which are operational, yes. and uh, we also have got uh, the youth babies yeah. in parliament, and I think. Political representation wise, we has really tried. Okay. However, we only need to look at now the, the more, more of engagement <coughs> and inspirations for the young people to take on leadership as well. So that brings me to my second question. Um, youth are included, but only during the elections in the particular country. And basically, they're included to actually um, cause a certain um, movement, cause a certain activity. It's not directly inclusion, it's not the inclusion that I think um, we speak of the inclusion because um, basically it's them to stand up on the roads to do riots, to do strikes, to go against the results that are coming out of different constituencies on elections. I don't know what's the practice, what's the, what's the tactic that you actually, I mean, you, you, you as youth actually see happening at your national levels because they see this is a challenge, not only in Kenya, we have seen that in Tanzania, whenever the elections we see a lot of violence and all this is caused by the youths. Even in Uganda, we had the same scenario when, uh, with the Bobby Wine situation. So I'm trying to learn from you what's the tactics and maybe uh, you can add on to the challenges that you actually face when you're actually trying to implement these tactics in your country. So the youth are used to cause violence. They are used by the people who are in the positions of power who unfortunately tend to be elderly. But during these other five years of leadership, there are other things that we should be focusing on that can actually build to the democracy that we anticipate to achieve after the five years. This includes things like public participation. Before passing a bill, how many youths are involved? How well do we understand these bills? So as the young people, uh, number one, we are thankful for being given such platforms where we are able to have conversations with our counterparts from East Africa and to ask for accountability for inclusion and we believe by these this small steps that we do at the end of it all, democracy will be there. Sometimes the youth go in for the quick game of maybe being called to join the, the run in the streets and burn tires because they're going to come back and be given 10,000. So they'll be like, okay, I'll be sorted on food today, so I won't go and do it. Okay. It's basically about the youth being vulnerable. And these issues are going to be addressed by empowering the young people economically. If they are not empowered, if they are still jobless, we'll do anything to get food to eat. So I don't even blame them. But I think our government needs to put in a lot of resources in empowering young people, investing money in programs that can fund youth-related activities that makes them entrepreneurs, putting money to empower them to be able to make money, not beggars. The youth are being used by politicians as beggars. They use them during elections and abandon them after elections. 
no one really wants to speak about youth issues anymore. But also as youth ourselves, I think it's time we need to change our attitudes and define clearly what is our agenda. Is our agenda short term? What exactly is this uh, leader or politician presenting for our issues? So we need to, to, to implore our leaders, our government, to start designing programs of government which are youth friendly, passing policies which are youth friendly, engaging the youth in policy formulations and implementation, opening doors for representation. When you're having appointments, why would you have a cabinet that is full of the old age? Where is the transition process? Where, is, where are we looking at the future of having the youth taking over and the mentorship is not provided? So this is some of the issues that we need to address. Let, let me say in Swahili, kwa upande wa Tanzania tunaona kipindi cha cha uchaguzi vijana wengi wanajiingiza kwenye siasa wanatokea huruhu na wengi wananunuliwa hata kuna wakati wanaingia kwenye matatizo ya ya kushindana na na vyombo vya vya sema vyombo vya ulinzi na usalama kwa sababu tu wanakuwa wametumika kwa hiyo ni changamoto sana lakini tunaona kwa upande wa Tanzania serikali mbali tu na yani mbali na kipindi cha uchaguzi Serikali ni serikali ya boi na washirikisha vijana sana kwenye masuala mazuri ya uchaguzi. Na hata baada ya uchaguzi vijana wengi wanachaguliwa. Wanachaguliwa wanakuwa appointed kwenye position mbalimbali za za za, za kisiasa kama ambavyo nilisema awali na vijana wengi kwa ambao wamechaguliwa. Si tu kwa sababu ya ya kwamba wali wali yani walionekana wanaweza. Kwa hiyo Tanzania inatoa na masuko sana kwa vijana na tunaona vijana wengi wako kwenye mwakilishi bungeni na wengine wako sehemu mbalimbali na wanafanya vizuri lakini pia kwa kwa kuseme kwa kwa yani kwa kwa hizi assembly ambazo zinafanyika hapa hivi mtano mbalimbali vijana inafanyika kupitia uh, jumuiya ya East Africa hii itasaidia sana vijana kwa sababu vijana wanapokuja wanajaribu kushare ideas mbalimbali lakini pia kupitia uh, kupitia kile ambacho vijana vijana tumeafikiana kutengeneza zile uh, UC UC council kwa kila nchi the UC national council tasaidia sana kwa sababu zitawaleta vijana pamoja na watapata nafasi ya kuweza kushare vitu mbalimbali kwa ajili yao kwa sababu vijana ndio taifa la leo na ndio taifa la kesho kwa hiyo ile nguvu ya kuweza kutetea nchi zao what do you think are the challenges that I mean the one challenge that you think your youth is facing in a particular country that is hindering them from participating in the political environment in your country one one is that you get just one challenge that you think the youths are actually facing or it's actually a hindrance for the youth to actually participate in the political environment in your country policy okay due to unemployment because the politics has been over long times so they, they don't have the money to compete and care of yourself tazani mazingira sahihi kwa vijana ile kuwepo kwa institution ambazo zitakuwa zinafanya kazi na vijana kuanzia kwenye level ya chini yani grassroots kwa maana institution nyingi zinaona vijana yani zinatakiwa zianze kuwatengeneza vijana katika level ya chini baada kutoka kwenye primary the level of the primary school secondary school uh, kwenye kwenye view hapo na maana kwamba tukianza kuwekeza katika kuwasaidia vijana kupitia hizo 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 nafasi vijana wanakosa hii sahihi ya kuweza kumudu siasa ambayo siko katika chini so in Kenya, corruption. corruption. The sad truth is we are in a level where we even have to drive to get education. Okay. Education which leads to employment, employment, you know, the basic things. So corruption. So I think all of us should actually fight this vice together. Great. So Kenya, corruption. Well, thank you, Mum. I have to agree and I have to learn. I've learned something. It's a, it's a two-way um, direction.